I've really got to hope that my camera is gonna have enough battery for me to film this video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. So for today's video, I have a big <laughs> clothing haul for you guys. So I have got not one, not two, not three, not even four, but five bags of Pretty Little Thing clothing. <laughs> I went a little bit OTT, I can't even lie. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I don't often do clothing hauls on my channel, so if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you leave a like to let me know that you enjoy them. Comment down below other clothing brands that you guys might wanna see. And yeah, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss when I upload a video every Monday and Saturday. But with all that being said, let's just get into the video. So I think I'm gonna go for the smallest bag first because it looks like they've literally put one thing in this bag so let's just get this one out of the way by the way i really hope you guys like this video like because taking a thumbnail for this video there was a disaster i was trying to get a video like holding all the bags and my tea spilled everywhere i knocked my tea over so yeah not the best this is gonna get hectic quick this is the first thing that I got and I'm pretty sure I got this in a large because I like to have baggy clothes yeah so I got this in a large hopefully it's not too baggy but it's basically like on the picture it looked a bit more like of a rusty pink whereas this looks like quite baby pink to me like I have baby pink nails right now and they're matching quite nicely but it just has a little PLT studio collection here so it's like got a little bit on it rather than it just being a plain jumper but i thought this would look really really cute like oversized tucked into a pair of jeans or something or if i had like white joggers on or something like that or gray tucked into that i thought it would look really really nice i don't know whether to get all of them out first and then do the try on clips afterwards i don't know i'm gonna try this on actually and then give you guys my opinion so one sec so the jumper is super super soft on the inside i'm actually really glad that i got a large because i feel like if i got like true to size like a medium this would have been a little bit not tight but just not as baggy as i wanted it to be and i feel like it looks super super cute i just shoved it on with a skinny pair of white jeans i actually have a pair of white jeans that i feel like this would look super nice with in one of these bags but for right now that was what I tried it on with, super comfortable and I definitely think this one is staying. I don't really feel like you can go wrong with a jumper and I just feel like the pink is just not something you see every day, you know? So that was why I went for like a pink. Plus I'm kind of obsessed with pink at the minute. I don't really know where that has come from, but we're here. So let's move on to the next bag. Well, of course the next bag I open has the jeans in it. So let's do the jeans next. So these jeans are like no other pair of jeans that I have, which is why I went for them. So they're just a white pair of jeans and there's no like rips or anything on the front of them. They're a long leg straight jean. If they're too long, I will roll them up a little bit at the bottom. But the reason why I got these jeans is because from the front, they're pretty plain. Yeah, but from the back, it's probably going to be kind of hard to see. So they have both of the slits just under your bum area which i thought was cute but then they also have which i'm either gonna love this or hate this but it is what it is they have this big rip detail at the back of your leg that i just thought was so different i don't have anything like it so i'm gonna try these on hopefully they fit because jeans for me are always a nightmare they're either way 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 too small and not true to size at all or they're either really really big <laughs> so i can never win hopefully these fit me pray for me unfortunately no clip for the jeans so i got them in a size 12 because usually in jeans i'm either a size 12 or a size 14 depending on how small or how big they are these are just too small i couldn't get them to button and even if i could it would have been uncomfortable however i do want to get another pair of jeans not with the bum slits on i feel like my bum just isn't peachy enough for that like so my bum isn't toned enough for jeans like this i don't feel like but the straight leg i'm not gonna lie i do really want to go and get a pair of jeans with a straight leg because i feel like they looked really nice and very different so i'm gonna send these back and hopefully get a pair that just suit me a little bit better um and fit me a bit nicer so these ones sadly are a no go but 
I do want to try the straight leg look, so we shall see. Okay, so I've just pulled the next thing out of the bag. And I got these in a 14. And I'm not going to lie, I opened them. And there's not going to be a try and clip because I thought these are not going to fit. So I tried them on straight away. Also, they look nothing like what they look like on the picture. They look like really comfy, thick um shorts like comfy shorts like men's shorts you know like what like they're comfy larger on a house shorts that's what i got these for look how big they are these are a 14 those jeans were a 12 i would have needed these in probably a 10 maybe even an 8 because of how these are actually massive but i'm not even going to send them back and get the right size because they're just not comfy like i would sooner get a pair of men's shorts that are actually fluffy and just nice. Like, do you know that jumper material that men have in their shorts? That was what these look like online. Yeah, no, these are a no-go. I'm really not happy with these. Wouldn't recommend them either. They just, they're just not the comfy shorts I thought they were going to be. So, oh, two not so happy purchases. So then on to a top. So this top looks so cute. This better fit because we're off to a bit of a rocky start. But this top is so cute. So it just has the um, new wave on the front. Um, I got this one in a 12. It is a crop top. So I'll have to see how I feel about my tummy because I do have a couple stretch marks. So we shall have to save. It's long sleeved. And what I did like about it was these like where it's like pulled in at the side i just thought it looked really cute and i thought it would look really nice with a pair of jeans on so i'm gonna try this on now hopefully it fits it should fit i don't know why it wouldn't but i'm just off to a little bit of a rocky start so hopefully we have a try on clip for this one so the top right i love it on i feel like it looks really nice and once i had it on for a little while i decided i was gonna keep it so when i first put it on the basically the sleeves don't have a lot of giving them they're pretty much like if they fit they fit if they don't they don't but i feel like if i got a size up in this it would just be too baggy and wouldn't look how the top is supposed to look so i do really really like the top i love how it looks i don't really have anything like this so i am gonna keep it um getting it off wasn't like a struggle or anything which is again something i usually look for because sometimes when you can't get a top off there's nothing more embarrassing but <laughs> yeah it came off really easy and I had it on for a little while because I just wanted to see how I felt and I'm definitely going to keep it. I really love it. I think it's the colour of it and like the style on the front of it. I just feel like it's really nice. So I'm going to keep it and style this bad boy up. Also, my hair is starting to look dreadful from taking clothes off and on. <laughs> um, so pray for me because God knows what I'm going to look like at the end of this video. So the next thing I got, I'm actually super excited about because I actually have one of these jumpers that has been on my Instagram, I'm pretty sure a few times because I love it. So the jumper that I have is the lilac one because I'm obsessed with lilac at the minute. But this one, this green one is oh, such a nice color. And basically there's nothing on the front of it, but the back of it all over the sleeves and stuff like that it is very big it's a very oversized jumper it basically says buffalo city new york is what it says on the back which i really really like it's a long jumper dress but it's not fitted at all it's very baggy which i very much do like just to be comfortable but still feel nice i just feel like this and like a chunky trainer or um even like a chunky pair of boots would look really 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 nice and i'm obsessed with my purple one so i decided to get another one in another color very different colors not colors i you like usually wear all the time so let's try this one on these jumpers just do not disappoint it was so comfortable they're so fluffy on the inside and they're they're not like super super thick but they're not really thin either so they're just really comfortable to wear on them days where it's like in between where it's like kind of warm kind of cold like they're just super super comfy if you put a pair of like cycling shorts or just shorts on underneath you are good to go if you're not going to be lifting your arms up a lot they cover you fine but if you're going to be lifting your arms up a lot i would recommend putting a pair of shorts on uh, especially if you're like the same height as me 
so I'm about f what am I like five six five seven I think so not too tall so if you're any taller than me you'll probably need a pair of shorts on underneath because I wear a pair of cycling shorts just to be on the safe side but so comfortable I love the color as well I just I'm really in love with all these like just not colors you wear all the time like I wear a lot of black a lot of gray a lot of white <laughs> so I'm trying to stay away from that as best as I can but yeah so comfortable glad I've got another one I'm not allowing myself to get any other colors now though because we definitely have two colors that are fine and no more I can't be wearing the same jumper in different colors in every Instagram picture so <laughs> but I love this they're so comfortable honestly I love them the next little top that I got I don't know if I'll do a try on clip for this I might do it's basically just like a very comfortable cropped top <laughs> so I'm going for like comfy cozy vibes I got most of this stuff to go camping so a lot of this is going to be like comfy cozy stuff not like dressy going out stuff um because we're going camping so I decided to get myself some new comfy clothes I thought this would be really really comfortable when we're just like playing games or something so that I won't get too hot or anything and then if it does get a bit cold I can just shove a jumper on over the top and it's not really going to be in the way so yeah not sure if I'll be doing a try and clip for this but I got it in black and I also believe I got it in a nude too so yeah but I imagine this will just be very comfortable so I did actually decide to try it on and do a try on clip just because it looked a little bit small on camera. So I was like, I better see how short this is. But as you can see on the try on clip, it actually fits really nicely. It's obviously a crop top, but it's not super, super short. Like I thought this was going to sit just underneath my boobs when I first looked at it, but it actually fits really nicely. I also wanted to see if I could wear like a really comfortable bra on underneath it. So I had just a white bra on underneath and I definitely couldn't see it. Hopefully you guys can't see it on camera, but yeah, it seems really, really good quality and I'm happy with it hundred percent. So then this next t-shirt, I also got in a large, but I feel like I probably should have got this in a medium because it looks very big. If this is way too oversized i am actually gonna send it back and get a medium because i actually love <laughs> this top so i'll show you guys so i don't know how well it is like how easy it is to see on camera but it is very very big like very very big like it is massive on me i had to stop there a minute because someone was being silly in a car outside but it just has this little like i don't know what these are are these like i feel like these are tennis rackets Okay, sorry, they came back if you heard that again. I don't really know what's happening. But yeah, I feel like it just has like tennis rackets on it. Um, so that's really cute. But then if I just show you the back, it just says caffeine energy on it. And I just thought that was cute. I don't know. I thought it was cute. And I just thought it would look really nice with um, a pair of cycling shorts on underneath if it's, if it's like really warm. Wear it, or if it's not so warm i'm gonna put either a pair of joggers on and tuck it in and just have it like really oversized but yeah let's try this on because i'm hoping it's not gonna be too oversized i feel like i might have overestimated this one a little bit so this one again is definitely 100 percent one that i will be keeping it's so comfortable i love that it has writing on the back and then not a ton on the front i just feel like it looks really really nice i know it's just like a plain oversized t-shirt like for the everyday but i love stuff like this and I have my black Balenciagas that I feel like would dress this up quite a lot. I feel like they'd look really nice with, because they're such a big chunky trainer. I feel like they would make this look really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one so comfortable, which is basically what I'm going for. If you haven't guessed, I just want to be comfy. So 100% keeping this on. So this next t-shirt, obviously again, it's just a t-shirt, but I love the color of this. So it's like a charcoal washed out gray. Like it looks so nice. And it just says Montana on the front has like a bird on it. I'm guessing it's an eagle. It looks like an eagle. <laughs> I wear a lot of like black and white um, and gray, but this is like different. Like it's charcoal gray. Like I just feel like this looks really, really nice. Again, I could wear this with my joggers or a pair of shorts when I eventually get the pair that I want or just with cycling shorts or a pair of jeans or something. 
just depending on the mood but for camping i feel like this is probably going to be worn with some cycling shorts so let's try this on i again got this in a large but this looks a lot smaller than the other one so i feel like this is just going to be a little bit smaller which is fine there's nothing wrong with that let's try this on this top is definitely a lot shorter than the previous top but it's fine because i would always wear a pair of shorts underneath anyway but the material of this top is actually not as comfortable as the previous top it's a little bit more rough it's by no means uncomfortable it's just a little bit more rough and i noticed it because the top before was so comfortable i still really really love it i'm still going to keep it and yeah it's just one of them very comfy chuck it on kind of tops i also feel like you could put like a shacket over the top with like a pair of jeans or something just to make it look a little bit nicer with a nice chunky trainer or something like that but yeah definitely keeping this one very very happy with it two more things to go through from this bag and then we have two more bags i think or three i'm not sure hopefully not too many because i feel like this video is going to be a long one so this next item of clothing i'm actually really really excited about so it's this like knitted cropped jumper but you can adjust where you want the zip to be to have like the collar however you want it kind of a vibe i brought this to go with the jeans because i thought this would look really cute like the white and then the big bright blue <laughs> uh, but obviously i don't have them jeans to try so i'll try them on with just my normal skinny white pair of jeans or just a blue pair of jeans uh but i'm probably gonna get a, another pair of white jeans to go with this uh i really want a straight leg kind of pair of jeans to go with these or i'll probably get like a boyfriend pair of jeans but yeah i can't wait to try this on so hopefully it's comfortable so this jumper is probably my favorite thing that i've tried on today i just feel like it looks really nice and the pop of blue is just really 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 lovely i just thought if we go for a meal or something one night it's a little bit more dressy um so that was kind of the vibe with this but if not it's just so comfortable like i could wear this to pop to town or something and still feel like a little bit dressed up or you know if we're like i said going for a meal or something it's just something a little bit extra and I feel like the blue, the colour of it, just makes it look like you've kind of put a little bit of effort into your outfit. And I just chucked it on with a pair of jeans. They're like my favourite jeans ever. I wear them all the time. Uh, but I do kind of think I want to get a white pair of jeans to go with this jumper because I feel like it'll just make the colour pop even more. So this next jumper was kind of like a fail safe in case I didn't like the first jumper. But this is a lot more pink so they're not like the same color they're very similar but this is a lot more like baby pink i do really really like it it's just plain very oversized as you can see which is literally the vibe that i'm going for i'm gonna try it on i don't know if i'm gonna keep this one i'll see how i feel in it just purely because the other one has like a little bit more on it <laughs> like it's literally just a tiny little detail but it has a little bit more on it so Depending on how I feel, I'll either keep both or I'll send probably this one back because I do like that other one and it fits really nicely. So I guess we'll just see. I did get this one in a large because like I said, I want everything to be a little bit oversized. I like how things look oversized. Okay guys, so I really, really, really like this jumper. It's so comfortable. I love the color of it. It's perfectly oversized so it's putting me in a little bit of a sticky situation and i don't really know which jumper to keep so i've got them both here for reference so obviously this is the one that i just tried on and then this is the color of the other one i feel like i prefer the jumper that i actually have on i feel like i like the color more i don't know like i'm very tempted to keep both but they're so similar that I kind of don't see the point. So you guys will have to let me know. Which jumper do you think looks better? Which one do you prefer? I need you guys' help. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep both. And they're both so similar <laughs> that I feel like I'm being silly. But you guys will have to let me know. So this is the next product. I feel like I always say product because I'm so used to doing makeup videos. <laughs> this one I'm so excited about because I have a jumper like this already, but it's not exactly the same. So I actually thought it was a bit more gray, but it's more of like an, like an egg white with gray going through it. It's actually a really, really nice color. 
So I did think it was gonna be gray. It says ash gray on the front. So I guess that's the color of it. But it just has this zip detail here and then it has a big pocket down the bottom. I do have one similar, but mine doesn't have the pocket at the bottom. But mine is so comfy that I thought I would get another color. I love the zip detail on this as well. Cause again, you can put it wherever you want it. But this looks really, really cute with either like them like ribbed leggings. I, I don't think ribbed leggings is the right term. I have some of them here. So I'll probably try this on with them in a try and clip anyway. But yeah, either with a pair of leggings, some jeans, you know, that kind of a stuff. So let's try these on with the jeans that I already have on and see what we're thinking. Okay, so this one again is definitely one of my favorites. It's so comfortable. It's like a really nice jumper quality. Like the only way I can compare it is like to men's jumpers because men's jumpers just feel different to women's jumpers. They just feel better quality. And this feels really, really, really nice. I'm a big fan of it. I love the zip detail on the front. I also love the pocket at the bottom. I, I don't know, I just feel like it adds a little something to it. And I just feel like this will look a little bit more like I've made an effort, even though literally in theory, I've shoved another jumper on. Do you see the kind of style that I have? I can't be bothered to put an outfit together. So therefore, I get the clothes that make it look like I've put an outfit together even though I literally haven't. But this one is so comfortable. I'm definitely keeping this one. I have one like it, like I said, but this one is a little bit different. The only thing I'm not the biggest fan of with these is the sleeves. There's like this open detail on the sleeve. I just kind of wish that was closed up. That's my only peeve with it. But other than that, I do really, really like it and I am keeping it because it is super comfortable and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of this. So the next thing I have to try on feels not as good a quality as the other tops it feels a lot thinner it looks a little bit more see-through but it is black so i'm hoping it'll be fine so it's basically just again a very big comfortable baggy t-shirt i again got mine in a large because i like things to look oversized so this literally just says urban district new york downtown and then something down here i can't be bothered to try and read but yeah, just a very big, comfortable t-shirt. So we're gonna try this on. Hopefully it's not see-through. I'm actually really hoping that it's not see-through. And then this is the last kind of like top thing I have to try on. And then I have like a jacket that I'll probably just leave this on to try on over. And some of the leggings I was on about earlier. I had another one of those tops, the, the little cropped one in nude. So yeah, let's try this one on. Okay, so like I said, this one definitely feels lower quality. Like it's definitely thinner. Um, it definitely feels thinner. It feels a kind of lower quality. It's very comfortable. It's still very soft. It just feels very thin, but I do have a white bra on. So if you can't see a white bra under a black top, <laughs> I feel like it's fine. It shouldn't be see-through. So that is fine. I am actually going to keep this top and the reason being because when obviously I've got most of these clothes off for camping so when we are playing games and stuff if it's really warm this top is thin so it's going to be very breathable <laughs> so that is why I'm keeping it and then I did also like how it looked when I tied it up with my jeans maybe not that pair of jeans but you know like in general you get the vibe so i am actually gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it on for probably most of the rest of this video because i'm gonna try some of the other stuff on with the top on <laughs> so let's get into that so the next thing i have to try i'm fairly certain i'm gonna be keeping because it's basically just a checked shirt but i'm kind of keeping it as like a shacket vibe so hopefully I can get all these buttons undone because my camera, you know, she's done good to hold on for this long. I have to keep putting her on charge in between um, clips. <laughs> and like putting new clothes on, I keep putting it on charge because otherwise it's not gonna last. So it's done very well to last this long, I can't lie. So I got this in a size 14 because again, I did want it to be kind of oversized. I feel like a 12 would have fit me perfectly, but I kind of wanted it to be a bit bigger. And it's obviously just black, white and gray because like I said, I wear a lot of black, white and gray. So 
I felt like this kind of made the most sense for me. Uh, but I just thought it would go, I could put it over my shoulders and stuff on a night if it gets a bit colder. Uh, so hopefully it looks okay. I'm just going to try it on over the top of this top. It's a black and white top, so it should be fine. So let's try this bad boy on and hopefully it's nice and comfortable. I wasn't 100% when I first put it on. I wasn't sure, like the top bit, the collar is kind of throwing me off a little bit. But when I did have a minute to just like chill in it, I do really like it. It's really comfortable. It's very, very oversized, which I do really, really like. I rolled one sleeve up because the sleeves are very long. So I could either have it rolled up or I can have it really, really long. And I feel like it kind of looks cute. <laughs> the fact that it doesn't fit and it's kind of like covering my hand, you know? And also when it's cold, <laughs> cover my hand up yeah i am gonna keep this one i like the color of it i don't have just a black and white one i don't know why i don't i have every other color bar this but this is literally the color of every piece of clothing that i have so this one kind of makes sense so yeah this one is a keeper let's move on to something else so i got these leggings purely because i'm hoping they're going to be like the primark leggings but i haven't been able to get the primark leggings for ages like i literally haven't and i really wanted a black pair and a gray pair so i decided to get them from pretty little thing hopefully they're just as nice as the ones i have from primark if not i will try and get some more from primark when i go but i'm kind of hoping these are going to be okay i didn't know what size to get because from primark they look super super small and then you put them on and they're like perfectly sized so hopefully these are okay these feel a lot thicker than the Primark ones I can't lie so I'm gonna try them anyway hopefully they're really nice I'm probably just gonna try them with this outfit <laughs> to be honest with you I know it's kind of boring about leggings but if you've tried the Primark leggings you'll know why I want some more because they're so comfortable and they just look nicer than normal leggings they have like these like I don't know what it's called so they're called structure structured contour ribbed leggings so yeah hopefully these fit okay i'm really hoping they will but let's try them on i know it's probably a little bit boring but i these are the things that i'm kind of most excited about because if these fit then i will definitely get some more whilst i can so i decided to try on both the black pair and the gray pair just to see how the colors looked i love both of them they're a little bit longer than the ones from primark and i still think i actually prefer the ones from primark so if i ever can get the ones from primark those are the ones I will be buying in future. But once I rolled them up and they were a little bit shorter, I feel like they looked really nice. So I am going to keep them just because they're super comfy to just sit and lounge around in. And if you have chores and stuff to do, they're just really handy to have. So I'm definitely keeping both of them. And they're a good alternative if I can never get like the Primark ones. So hopefully I'll be able to get the ones that I actually want eventually. But for now, these will do just fine. I have three more things to try on so i have this top here which is pretty much the same as the black one from earlier but i just couldn't find it to try it on so i literally got exactly the same top but in the light brown color and i just thought these would be really handy to have so i'm just quickly gonna try this one on but i'm pretty sure I know how it's gonna fit because the other one fit really nicely and then i just have two coats to try on with you guys and then it's all done because i feel like this video is going to be quite a lengthy one <laughs> so pretty much the same as the black one obviously they are literally the same top but sometimes i have had it before from companies where it's literally the same product in a different color and it just doesn't fit the same so i thought i would try it on but it's super comfy and i have a lot of jackets that would just look nice over the top of this but i just thought i'd show you in the cutaway as you know just the top so you can see what it looks like but now i just have two coats to try because i really needed a new coat and i got like a is it called like a gilet gilet i don't know to try on um because i wanted a coat that like wasn't long sleeve so that when it was a bit colder but not quite cold enough to wear a coat that i still had something that would keep me warm i've never really brought anything like this from pretty little things so i'm hoping the quality is good so this one is a stone pocket toggle waist gilet, gilet, I don't really know how you say it, but there looks super cute. So it just has the buttons down the front, so super easy to get on and off. 
it feels nice and thick on the inside it feels really nice as well so yeah i'm excited about this one okay so i feel like the cutaway clip isn't really doing this justice i put it on with the pink jumper on underneath not because i thought they were actually gonna go but when i had them on I thought they looked really nice together, but more so so I could see how much room I would have underneath it because I hate when I've got like coats or jackets on and it makes my clothes underneath feel really uncomfortable. So that was why I tried it on with the jumper. It's so comfortable, got loads of room. I could pull these toggles a lot tighter and I will do depending on how I'm feeling. But yeah, I really like it and I'm gonna keep it because it's something a little bit different for me. I don't really have anything like this, so. Yeah, I'm happy with this one. And then I got this coat, and I know it probably sounds stupid getting a coat like when summer's coming up, but I'm just thinking like if it rains or it gets cold or something on a night, then I just have something really comfy to shove on. And I'm a little bit obsessed with this color. I feel like this might be a little bit too oversized. I think I got this in a 14. Oh no, I did get it in a large. I think I probably should have got this in a medium, but I'm gonna try and see how it looks. But I think I probably would have got this in a large so that it was like not too tight with my clothes on underneath. But I'm gonna try it on again with the jumper and just see how it looks. It feels again, really nice quality. Like I say, I haven't actually ordered a coat from Pretty Little Thing before. So I'm actually quite impressed with how they feel, but this is kind of what it looks like. And it just has a hood. Like I said, in case it rained, I just wanted, you know, to be, have something prepared and i haven't brought a new coat in a while so i thought treat yourself hon so let's try this one on okay so i went through a few stages with <laughs> that coat i went and got kane's opinion and he likes it i got it in a large i really don't know why i've got it in a large i feel like i definitely needed a medium but then I was sat thinking, right, so I had the jumper on underneath because I really like coats to feel comfortable over no matter what. So a jumper is like the thickest thing that I own. So that was why I tried it on with a jumper and it didn't feel like it was restricting my clothes underneath. So I'm actually going to keep it in the large <laughs> uh, because I really do like the coat. I was going to send it back and get a medium, but I don't want it to come and then it be too small and like suffocate my clothes underneath. So I'm just, I'm going to keep it. I like it. I think it looks nice. So we'll just have like a nice comfy coat, which will come in handy when I go on walks and stuff like that. Yeah. When we go to parks and stuff when it's cold and yeah. And when we go camping, if it's cold on the night, I have a nice comfy coat. So that is everything that I have for you today. I have a feeling that this video is gonna be so long. So I'm gonna keep this outro nice and short. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like because that really does help me out. Comment down below which item of clothing was your favorite. Also, let me know if you think I should keep both of the pink jumpers because I really need your guys' help on that. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me. I post videos every Monday and Saturday and sprinkle in a few surprise videos here and there. Let me know what other clothing brands you guys would want me to get hauls from in the future. But that is everything from me, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.